What's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with an awesome tournament winning undefeating Sin Shenron deck. This guy's known as Papa Smoke. This man is the Sin Shenron master. I'm gonna tell you who it is, but I'm gonna have him introduce himself. So Papa Smoke, come out from the shadows, boy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. How's it going, everyone? There we go. This man went undefeated in the Top Cut event tournament, the webcam event I participated in, and I got smacked left and right. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, but this man, top. He pretty much went undefeated, wrecked everybody with Sin Shenron. I remember I reached out to him, and I asked him, like, yo, dude, I might play Sin. Is there like a pretty cool build in here? Just like, here's this one. Just use it. It's gonna be. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> That's what you told me. I remember you straight up said it's the best deck. Don't worry. And um, man, tell us your experience. Like, how did it go? What was your, like your toughest matchups? What did you play against? Uh, go for it, man. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, the, the event went awesome. Uh, it was best of one, but you know, I may I may do. I prefer a best of three, but it's online, so you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, I played against, uh, let's see, I played against three Go Tanks, so, you know, <laughs> there was quite a few of those. Yeah. Um, played against a Baby, uh, played against a mm -hmm. Soul Striker Reboot, and okay. then my last match was Vajex, which was on the stream, and that match was uh, by the wire. I, I, it was very, very, very close, and that was definitely my toughest match, I've had to say. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty rough. Vajex <laughs> is still out there, be careful everyone. So we're gonna run down this deck, and I'm gonna ask you, like, what were your card choices? How come you played them <laughs> in the best of one format? And so obviously, I'm gonna start off with the Unisons. We have Vegeta, Unison of Fury, and obviously Mecha Kabora, pl mm -hmm. uh, Plotting Revival. Why the Vegeta, by the way? I that that one kind of like ah. caught me off guard. I was like, whoa, this is the one from the expansion set. I, I want to know yes. more about this. Why why this choice? Yes, uh, actually, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Trey. Uh, recommended me the card way back in set 10 mm -hmm. and I was a little iffy on it. I was like you know I'll give it a shot and I definitely don't regret it uh it's fantastic against uh black decks which is his deck's probably biggest weakness uh mm -hmm. playing it like the jacks dark yeah. broly um you can do a really cute combo with it too to uh you can like rest your shadow dragons to give it a marker and then you can warp though you can leave those shadow dragons like your balls you can rest them give them yeah. a marker use the skill make it leave come back or end of turn restand the ball so you get a lot of synergy off that and it's great at closing games. It's a awesome card. Dang, yeah, man. Like rest mm -hmm. the one drops can't even attack with them anyway, so they're only like one yeah. K or like one power energy or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one power. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mega Kabora, obviously one of the best oh, yeah. unison yellow unisons in the game right now. Mm -hmm. And then we have SS3 Son Goku, and we have Vegeta's Final Flash. Um, mm -hmm. Why those two? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the Goku, actually. Some people recommend, play, or say, why don't you play the crit one from the set 10? And I'm like, no, no, no. You want the double strike because right. you want to be able to beat on unisons <laughs> and be able to close on games. That double strike's amazing. Uh, people don't mm -hmm. expect it. And they're like, oh, yeah. For one, double strike? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. the, uh... Sorry. No, go for it. Yeah, go for it. The, the Vegeta's final flash. I think that's where you're going to go next, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Final Flash, uh, great against stealing cards, because you can negate a card's skill, yep. steal a Magic Kibora, or you can uh, get past cards, you know, that are really obnoxious, such as Zamasu that have uh, Indestructible, you can get mm -hmm. past uh, Invoker, hit that Vegeta, get rid of its barrier. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just kind of beast through big boss monsters, try swinging in, so it's kind of just like a another release from evil, kind of negate the skill, kind of just, mm. just delay the game as long as you can so you can hit that turn six and just uh, kind of win. <laughs> And how come you ran three Nimbuses and two Release from Evils? Uh, well, Nimbus is probably the, one of the best yellow negates in the game for yep. wide. So. Yep. <laughs> Thumbs up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can pitch like Shadow Dragon pieces to bring back yep. later. You can you, Nimbus is just kind of it's Nimbus. I mean, yeah, <laughs> Nimbus is just like one of the best cards in the game. Best negate. Oh, yeah. one of the best negates. Oh and, yeah, oh yeah. And then how come? Uh, oh go, yeah, go for it. I was gonna say Release, uh, and then Release is just. Good again, you can hit Unisons with it. You can hit. Uh, it's great against things that have like uh, like the Go Tanks. You can, oh, that's you can right. swing with it. It stops the dual attack, gets rid of the skill, and then you still get a blocking step and a combo Ooh. step. So you can block with a, a nine drop to kill the Go Tanks. They don't get the cards back. Oh snap! Or, oh, I just yeah. realized that. I was like, you negate their skill. <laughs> oh shoot, that's crazy. <laughs> yep. Or you can just even they still swing through. You combo a Haze, discard a card, blow yeah. it up on swing. Oh, so you snap. get a lot of. Yeah, you get a lot of synergy off that. 
Ooh, that's crazy. Did you did you you didn't see any reboot Gohans, huh? Uh, no, I wanted to. I, I really <laughs> actually like, I want to see that deck. <laughs> so you were telling us about the reboot Gohan? Oh yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping to get that matchup. I have a really good matchup against it. <laughs> yeah, you have all the negates, and yeah, the release from evil, which is like mm -hmm. Gohan's worst card on the on the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that then, with the Masu and the Sin to lock the leader down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of a lot of stuff for reboot. A lot of reboot hate. <laughs> <laughs> for and, sure. And then you have the negative energy two star ball and the four. So you run a three four mm -hmm. split. Why did yeah. you run that? Uh, well, the four you kind of want to see all the time. That's kind of the, the go-to turn mm -hmm. one play. Uh, the three is good against aggro, so you kind of gotcha. want to see it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. It's mm -hmm. nice, but majority you want to see the sin ball. The three is kind of just like the backup aggro. Gotcha. If you want to take the other approach. Ah, okay, cool. And then mm -hmm. we have Zamasu Sacred Disbelief, which is just a great card. Puts oh, things yeah. to rest mode. Now I want to talk about the new, is it Ace, Shenron, the Kai... Cryomancer, I think. Ace, right? That's ice. Ice? It's like ice. Ice? Ice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you run four of these guys? And tell me why. Like, this just... Mm -hmm. Like, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, it's probably, like, the best thing they could have given Sin was consistency. So, mm. being able to counterplay and rest any card. That's right. Any card. So, any if card. they play a unison, you can rest the unison oh, with the ice. Most people don't realize that. You can hit a lot of things with that. Oh, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and then the tapping one, grabbing any ball from deck and playing it. It skills negated for the turn, but it's not really a big deal. It mm -hmm. just gives you more of the consistency to see that Sin Shenron mm -hmm. on turn one. So, yeah, it's probably, it's amazing. It, it's such a good card. And w w what did you see yourself using more of? Was it the counter play or was it like the the one energy play the, uh, the one star? Uh, mostly the one energy. Uh, I probably used the counter. I think I used it one time, maybe the counter play. I usually mm. don't have much energy open because I kind of flood the board with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's also a great uh, revive target since you just have more things to bring back off the tab six. Yeah. So, so it kind of helps. It, it's it's really good. Cool. Mm -hmm. and, and then you ran one, uh, two poutine and furthering destruction chopper. I think the last yes. build you showed me, you didn't have Poutine. How come you made that change for this one? It did not, and I regret it, because this card was the MVP of this weekend. Oh. This card was absolutely outstanding. Um, it counters every single deck in the format right now. And I mean every deck, Whoa. I mean every deck. Well, what does it if do? Tell, every, against... tell everybody that they're new to the channel. Why is this <laughs> card, like, broken? <laughs> like, one of the MVPs right now. Well, uh, Poutine has barrier and unique, so you can only have one on board. Mm -hmm. But uh, it says if your leader card is yellow, when your opponent's card is switched to rest mode by one of your card skills, you can play it from your hand for free. Ooh. And then um, auto, once per turn, when your opponent plays a battle card using a skill or activates a counter skill, mm -hmm. you can choose up to one of their battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Dang. So being when they so you can play it off the when you use your zamasu to rest something or if they swing at your mecha gabor if you block with the match you get to mm -hmm. rest one of their cards allowing you to play the poutine for free oh wow see mm -hmm. everyone broken card <laughs> yep. it's then, everything in the format <laughs> and then we had one further destruction choppa and then you ran one tournament pack in shenron harp uh mm -hmm. binger of ruin mm -hmm. how come that choice of just running one uh, well, the one Champa, I feel like if you any struggle, any deck that struggles with closing a game out, I think one Champa is kind of just really good. No one expects it. It makes everything a threat. Fantastic card. <laughs> um, and then the Sin Shenron, um, it's a great card to bait out with the one uh, one star ball. Mm -hmm. If they choose to play a counter play, I don't know, like preemptive strike or yeah. denial, you can go into that Shenron, which has deflect, Ooh. so it completely fizzles out their counter play. Mm -hmm. um, and it's another revive target off lead. And I've actually closed a lot of games out using his uh, auto, which lets you sack a card in rest mode. Mm -hmm. You rest one of your opponent's energy. So you can like tap six, bring it back, sack one of your energy, oh, rest wow. one of their energy. And then you can just kind of close out games because most people leave like one energy open. Yeah. I've noticed as of late. And you can, uh, you can get that out of there. Dang, dude, that's insane. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then we have mm -hmm. Hayes, Shenron, the Poison Mancer, and then obviously Vegeta, the Prideful Transformation. You ran four and three. Mm -hmm. Why that split? Uh, the four Hayes, uh, 
that's why on the th- ball at three and the haze at or yeah the haze at four since the ball can grab the haze and mm-hmm. the haze comes in and re-grabs the ball just kind of a cycle there so the more gotcha. hazes you have in deck the better gotcha, gotcha. um also having the crits just amazing crits just good and in tandem yeah, with his great. evolution which is coming up is uh, just completely insane mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. and then we go into mm-hmm. the super natron natron shenron pan absorb so <laughs> I, I i have a hard time saying his name but why did you run one of these guys uh, I kind of really wanted to play something from the new set since the I was already <laughs> playing the ice, yeah. but the <laughs> the four drop ice wasn't that great. Um, I kind of could see him on the side against certain matchups, but mm. eh. Um, the Supernatron honestly is just another revive target. It's just gotcha. great to discard off a of Nimbus, anything just to play it for free, get a free twenty k dual attack. So nice. yeah, cool. that's his purpose. <laughs> I think in one of the games um, we're moving on to the next one is Hey Shenron. Um, Venomous Mist. I saw this crazy thing where this guy committed his entire hand and then you just like said discard one, pop. (laughs) I saw that. Oh my god. How many times did you do that? I'm just curious. Quite a few. uh, People don't, people forget. It's basically Hugesh Explosive from set 3. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. People are committing. I'm like, do they remember that? That's, that does that? And they're like, oh wait. Now I'm time to to scoop my cards. Go on to... (laughs) It happened in the Vajex match. My last I saw match that. I saw that. I saw mm-hmm. that. <laughs> that was so sad. I was like, oh, that sucks. Yep, 45k, and I was just like, yeah, haze, discard, blow it up. <laughs> oh, man, that, that was a terrible feeling. And then, obviously, you ran mm-hmm. the Sin Shadow Dragon leader, and then, obviously, mm. the Big Daddy 9-drop. And then, I want you to t- tell me, why did you run the Seeker Rare, the... Um, was it the champion pack or the store championship one? Yes. Why did you run this guy instead of people always running the Cell Xenom like mashup they do? Mm-hmm. What made you pick this one over that one? Like uh, yeah, that, like this one, mm-hmm. this one. <laughs> this card was probably my second MVP of the entire week. This card is absolutely fantastic because people always forget that this card cannot be removed from the battle area by skills. So he's oh, yeah. just a big boy that can't die, keeps blocking, and keeps coming back because you can bring him back off your leader skill. Yep. Um, so he's, he's you can play him early. He's great against aggro. He's, he's fantastic. Whereas Cell, the problem with Cell is uh, there's a lot of cards that can stop him now. People are playing a lot of blockers. Yeah. Violent Ray stops him. Release from Evil stops him. Yeah. Playing against Shen- Shenron, the Haze stops everything. There's a lot of things that can stop him. He's nice, but once he's gone, he's gone. So you can never get him back. Mm-hmm. Whereas this guy, he keeps coming back and he hits hard. He is fantastic. I, I this format definitely sin over sell, hundred percent. I, I agree, dude. And he's also whenever I think as many one drops you have in the drop area, you reduce his energy cost. I think to like you can mm-hmm. pretty much bring this guy for one energy. I think right if you yep. have like enough in the drop. Yep, and also it's off of one uh, one drop cards, not just battle cards. Oh, so, what? wait, what? One yes. drop cards? Oh, hold on. Let me read this real quick. Yes. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand for by one energy cost. So that means your extra cards. Oh, my yes. God. This is why it's important yes. to read, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Very important to read. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to act like I need this the entire time. I found out, like, last week. And oh. I was like, wow, that's pretty good. I thought it so, meant yeah, battle card. cards. That's how I interpreted it. I'm like, oh, okay, yes. battle cards. And I'm like, wait a minute, Nimbus. And I see all these things you have. I'm yep. like, wait, that reduces it. I did not know that. That's nuts. Yep. Holy cow. It, it is amazing. This guy is, uh, I, I play him every time I got him. I'm like, just go right into him. And then yeah. Yeah, he's super amazing. I don't regret changing him at all. So Dang. can sit in the binder and be pretty. Sing can have his place and enjoy him. <laughs> Get that cell graded, dude. And um, <laughs> and let me ask you about your sideboard. A sideboard. I know this was like a best of one event, but uh, yeah. I, since you have it here, I want to talk to you about it. So sure. you have the Gogeta, Roshi, mm-hmm. uh, the Apes, Poutine, and Zarbon. Why are these and Jiren? Um, mm-hmm. Why why did you pick these cards? Uh, well, a few of them I was kind of iffy on, um, mm-hmm. but the Gogeta to start with. Um, He's really good against um, like the Invoker matchup, yeah. uh, since they fill out extra cards, they don't have a lot of swings, he can get really big really fast, you can neg him out, do a lot of cool stuff. Mm. Um, the Roshi, uh, just more against aggro, you get in gotcha. the gate, you get, a, you get a 5k combo, you know, just helps against really aggressive decks like Black or things like that. Gotcha. Uh, the, the Fancy Pantsy Money Card 8, 
Uh, he's really good against discard. Uh, gotcha. I don't have a super big problem against it, but sometimes it can be a little oppressive. So, gotcha. just in case, you know, a little extra. Okay. Uh, Poutine, self-explanatory, amazing <laughs> card. <laughs> <laughs> hits cards with Union Fusion because it's a skill. Hits cards activate counters. Uh, gotcha. Swap Union Pataro when they activate it. Can't get rid of it. You get to rest a card. It's oh my god, That's amazing, insane. amazing. Uh, Zarbon. Uh, People talk about him. I'm not a huge fan of him. Uh, okay. I think it's kind of situational. Uh, I got, I'm thinking about taking him out the sideboard. Um, okay. He's only really good with the nine drop. Um, gotcha. Yeah, but yeah, he's he's okay. Cool. And then uh, Jiren. Um, he's actually for the blue matchup against oh. the Android 17 turning the tides. Oh, that's right. This guy stops the. I felt like this guy was made for Gogeta seven drop, mm -hmm. but then since they banned him, like. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really get to see that much play, but now I remember that turning the tide yep. sends since your yep. drop and your uh, your, hand. your hand. Yep. Yeah. So you get to keep the cards in your hand. Your opponent loses their hand, and you just get to draw a card. <laughs> so sad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Very. like the best hate for all almost all the decks. Um, thank you for <laughs> taking the time. Any special shout outs you want to do, man? Uh, yeah, totally. Out? Uh, shout out to my boys and my locals, Tyler, Trey, Chris, Ivan, Mike, Sam, all of them. Um, shout out to those boys. <laughs> and also, uh -huh. if you haven't heard, join the Shadow Dragon Empire on Facebook. Yep, I'm a part of Shenron it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Anthony's a part, part of it. Of it. Uh, <laughs> we talk about strategies, tips, tricks. Um, you always, Guys are always welcome to free to DM me. Uh, I try to answer as many comments and questions as I can uh, and all mm -hmm. things about Sin and Shadow Dragon. So, yeah. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you for um, doing that. Thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little late, but I want to say <laughs> huge shout out to him, B Papa Smoke. Definitely hit up <laughs> in, the, in the description down below. You'll see the group. So if you want to go and check out the deck and ask him personally, like, hey, why? What were your toughest matchups? Or like, why you run this card? More in detail. Feel free. The down in the description below is going to be the Papa Smokes Shadow Dragon group that I'm a part of as well because I was like, yo, this guy's dominating. I need to know his like secret spies. His like the sauce <laughs> and um <laughs> kyle was dominating he told me i want to give a huge shout out to kyle first of all because this man <laughs> went into that tournament straight up before that happened he's like tony i'm gonna win this and we're gonna do deck profile and i'm like dude do it i believe you <laughs> i strongly believe you will do it and he did it he went undefeated so there yes. you guys have it huge shout out to kyle and the boys out there to help them test uh play test and um thank you for taking the time like always man of course, and um, man, of course like we always say, y'all stay super. Double strike, double strike, double strike. Hey, me and 17, we both look team with the hand destruction scene. Y ahora se lista con el 17 y los otros 7. Yo miro y te pregunto tu mano, nosotros somos buenos para tirarlo.